Okay guys, so today I'm just going to make a quick video, or maybe not quick, who knows, uh, on how to style elements using data attributes as your CSS rule selectors. Uh, and the example I've got in front of you is some basic mockups of uh, three reviews or testimonials, whatever you call them. And the first one is a basic review with a three and a half star rating. This is actually a frames uh, element, uh, so I didn't have to build that, but I'll show you how that works. So the first review is just a standard review. It's not featured in any way, uh, and it doesn't have any ribbons on it. The second review is a featured review, which I've got this primary colored border around, a two pixel border. Uh, it's got a five star rating, and I've got a ribbon up the top. I'm actually using a sale or clearance uh, uh, property here uh, for that, uh, which doesn't relate to the reviews, but it was just something I chucked in there. Uh, so this will display if it's enabled, uh, and it is the primary color on this one. On the last one, it's not featured, but we have a label or a ribbon, uh, which is the secondary color. And if you have a look at the DOM for this, and we look at the uh, first block here, which is our review block. We've got data rating of three and a half, which is our three and a half rating here. Uh, we've got a data feature to zero, so it's not featured, and the data ribbon type is set to none. If we look at the second one, we've got a data rating of five, a data feature of one, which gives us our border, and a data ribbon type of sale, which gives us our primary colored ribbon. And on the third one, it is a data rating of 2.5, so it didn't like us too much. Uh, featured of zero, so we no border, and we have a ribbon type of clearance, which gives us our secondary color border. Okay, so that's it. Now, for creating these, let's say, for example, on the uh, first one, we're going to change that rating to a three star, and we're going to feature it. And we're going to put a ribbon on it, which is a, let's do a clearance ribbon on that. So let's go to our first review, edit that. So all I have to do is say, I want that to be featured. I want to give it a, we'll give it a four star review. We're going to set the ribbon type to clearance and the label we've got to go test clear. Test clearance, there we go. So that's all we've done, featured, change the rating, set the ribbon type to clearance and change the ribbon label, update that, refresh this. We now have a featured review with a ribbon saying test clearance and a four star rating. If we look at the uh, DOM, our data rating is now on four, data features on one and the data ribbon type is clearance. So pretty cool. And then we just use some CSS, which I'll show you to actually uh, take advantage of these data attributes. Uh, but it's a really cool way of controlling these things. Now, the other part I mentioned was the automagic adding of these attributes. So the way I've done that is if we look at the builder here and we look at my review, which is a loop that's looping through those reviews. Uh, and I look at my style tab on the attributes. I've got a single name, which is a bricks token for echo. Uh, and that's echoing out a function, which I'll show you. That's a WP Cobalt function, which I'll show you. And I don't put anything in the value because this function is going to echo out everything I need for those data attributes. So that's all I need to do on this review to get all of those attributes, the data rating, data featured and data ribbon type. All I need is that one function there, okay? Now, how that works is in, if I can bring it up, I've still got it there, I have in my fields in Metabox. Uh, this could also be, I should say, this could also be ACF or pods or toolset, whatever you use for your uh, metadata that goes on to a field. All you need to do is anything that you want to have a, uh, on the data attributes, you just prefix the ID with data underscore, okay? By default, if I create a switch and call it featured, uh, Metabox will give me a ID featured, but if I add data in front of that, 
it's now going to add that as a data attribute when I add that uh, that uh, bricks token to call that function. All right, so that's it. So I've got my featured, uh, I've got my rating there, uh, and I've got my ribbon type as a data ribbon type. And my ribbon label doesn't need to be data because we're going to use standard meta for that. There's my ribbon label there. So all these three here, the featured, rating, and ribbon type, prefixed with the data underscore, and we get this here on the DOM. All right. So how that works is we need a WP code box function. So or whatever you use, uh, I've used WP code box. And here it is here. I'll put a gist in there for that. It's got a little comment in the front where it goes, or the top, I should say, where for uh, tell you where that goes. And all we're saying here is under the attributes name, insert this bricks token, and do not put anything in the value field. All right. So that's it. This function here will get all of the post meta for that uh, post. So again, it doesn't matter whether you did this with. Uh, uh, with Metabox, with ACF, whatever, there is one part that might change depending on how it st stores the values, which I'll sort of talk about shortly. Um, we create an empty string for our output. Uh, we go a, we loop through all of the fields that we got, so all of the meta fields that we got for that post type, and we look for the key of that having our prefix or starting with data underscore. If it doesn't, have that then it just loops to the next item so it's only the ones that have the data underscore that we want to process we get the data name by replacing all of the underscores with dashes so in the meta box the ids you use an, uh, an underscore but a data attribute uses the dash so this is just replacing all of those underscores with dashes and then we need to get this is a with Metabox, uh, even if it's a scalar value, say a string or a Boolean or a number, it stores that value as an array. Uh, so in the case of a string, it stores it as an array with one element. So what we need to do to get the actual value is get the first element of that array. Now that might be a little bit different. I'm not sure if you use uh, ACF or Toolkit or some other way of doing that. So depending on what you use, you might have to change this line of code here to get the actual value. Um, if there's different values being stored in different ways, you might have to test those values and get the actual value. But for my case with Metabox, all I need to do is get the first element in the array. I then append to my out string, my data name, with an equals, and then some quotes uh, and my actual value. And that there gives us uh, this string here so that what it creates is this data oops the string from the start of that data there all the way through to the end there is the string that that creates for me and that just automatically adds it because we use this uh, we told it to echo that out on the attribute name um, and that's all there is to it so oh, again I'll share that out in the gist so you've got that uh, but now that's the first part. The first part is just getting these data rating uh, featured and ribbon type as, as data attributes. We then want to use these as um, uh, selectors for our CSS. So for example, with that, we'll come back to the data rating. The data featured, if we have a look at that, if we just grab that entire, oh goodness. Okay, if we just grabbed the, on the featured here, so we want the data featured equals one. We just grab that entire block like that. So data featured equals one and copy that. We can then use that in our CSS. If we go to our attributes here, into our review, make sure we get the class selected into our CSS. So what we're doing is saying data featured, then targeting our review. So any review that has data featured equals one we want the border to be two pixel solid primary and we want a box shadow of this var box shadow but these are our defaults um, so we set a default border box shadow and background set those at the root and then all we're doing is overriding those variables when this data attribute here data feature equals one okay so that's pretty much it to make that featured uh, with the data ribbon type um, in my Metabox here, I've got a, 
a drop down or a select I've got a type of none sale or clearance okay so it, all I'm doing there is if the data ribbon type is sale target our ribbons inner so this uh, so this here the ribbon inner and set the background color to primary trans 60 if it's got the clearance type then set it to secondary trans 60 and that's all we need to do to target those using the data attribute um, now there was one little caveat that I came across um, so this rating the rating alpha from frames it didn't work properly um, because of the way that the CSS was targeting these elements so and I'll show you what that is if I go back to the frames alpha so the I'm going to just uh, take this back to what it is by default from frames Okay, and we'll see a problem. See our first two are working, our third one is not working. All right, it disappears, and the reason for that is because the frames here, it's not specific enough. It's basically saying any element that has data rating attribute, um, then we're going to target the first child. Uh, there we're going to target the nth child there so what this is doing is the if we look up here on our block here for our review we've got data rating and what that's doing now is it's actually hiding elements under there so parts of our uh, block or elements within inside our block that data rating a CSS in frames is actually hiding those so what it should be is more specific because what we want to do in the ratings down here well, the ratings 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 that's the rating there what we want to do is target from that point downwards so to do that we need to make that CSS rule include the class so it's got to be specific enough to say the, the FR rating alpha which has this data rating attribute, we want to target that. And the way we do that is just by adding the keyword root in front of all of these data ratings. Okay, so this is editing the frame CSS for this. So this makes it more specific. So it says that it needs to have, actually let's look at what the actual rule looks like now. So if we go to these now, Let's have a look at the hidden ones because the hidden ones that are actually so now we're looking at the fr rating alpha so that was what our root was translated to with a data rating of that then we want to set the display to none on that nth child so it isn't specific enough but you can easily change that just by adding the root uh, keyword in front of each of those um, it won't break uh, other use cases of this everywhere else on your site so it's worth doing anyway um, all right, so that's it. The summary of this is that we've automatically got the uh, data attributes here of rating, featured, and ribbon type automatically being added by just using a single attribute here of echo MB data ads. Uh, we've got some code and a code box here which finds all of the attributes, all of the uh, meta, meta fields that have a data underscore in front of it and it translates that into a data attribute. Uh, again, we're using Metabox, so we're getting the first element of the array. And then in the uh, Metabox, all we have to do is add data underscore to the ID of any element that we want to be affected by that code. That's it. I hope that makes sense. I hope that is something you can use. And um, yeah, if you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thanks, guys.